Integer multiplication and division is what we're looking at now. And there are a couple of rules for integer multiplication and division. The nice thing about these rules is that they are the same rules for both multiplication and division. So we're not going to have to learn different sets of rules depending on whether it's multiplication or division. Just one set of rules cover both. And there's only two rules involved. The first one is that if we are multiplying two numbers and they have the same sign, which means they're either both positive or both negative, then we're going to multiply or divide whatever the instructions are to get our answer, but we are going to have a positive answer because the signs are the same. So the other possibility, which is why we have a second rule, is what if those signs are different? So if we have different signs, then we're going to have a negative answer. So when the signs are the same, positive answer. When the signs are different, we're going to have a negative answer. So, for example, if I were to take a positive 2 and multiply that with a negative 4, those signs are different. So when I multiply different uh, signs, I know that my answer is going to be negative. And since this is a multiplication of 2 and 4, our answer would be a negative 8. So signs are different, our answer is negative. Sometimes the signs may be the same, and again, these are the same rules for division. So what if I had a negative 15 divided by a negative 3? Well, negative 15 divided by negative 3, the signs are both negative, which means they're the same. So my answer is actually going to be positive, even though I've got those two negatives there, because the signs are the same. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and that's going to be a positive 5, again, because the signs are the same. So taking a look at our two examples here, we're asked to evaluate the following. 18 times a negative 2. Remember, if there's no sign out in front there, it's an assumed positive. So we've got a positive and a negative. Those are different signs. So we're dividing, and it's going to be a negative answer. So 18 divided by 2 is negative 9. In the bottom question here, we're multiplying this time, and we have both negatives, which means the signs are the same. So we're still multiplying 5 and 3. We're still going to get 15. But this time, since the signs are the same, our answer is just going to be a positive 15. Signs are different. We got a negative. Signs were the same in the second one. Our answer was positive, and that's all we have.